Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Marta's Sci-Fi Seminar, and this channel is all about writing, editing, and then marketing or publishing your first novel. So we spent several months in the drafting process with me kind of keeping you company, offering advice, inspiration, book reviews, and now we're in the editing process and I've split off the book review component separately, keep the videos shorter. Um, I am Marta Ferguson, author of Demeter West and the Ghost Town Glitch, Demeter West and the Absent Presence, and a prequel novella tentatively titled Evil Steve and Scary Gary's First Adventure, which will hopefully be available fall 2022. I am working that direction. So this is now the fifth editing session. And what I want to talk to you about, what I've talked to you about in previous editing videos um, are things like things to think about as you read your manuscript as you begin the editing process with your manuscript. Do you have everything you want in there, everything you know you want at this point in there? Um, is it in the right order? What we're going to talk about in this video is whether or not it comes from the right source. Now, I'm using the word right, but really this is more like, um, does it come from a good source? Does it, you know, like, is it in the right order? Is it in a good order? Right order, sometimes there's not always an answer precisely there. Right source, sometimes there's not always an answer precisely there. There are, I think, better ways to do it and less optimal ways to do it. Um, and you want to kind of shoot for one of the better ways to do it. But I, I don't believe in the infinitely perfectible book. I don't believe in... Um, a story having any one fixed destiny. You know, you're going to do the best you can with it at the time. And that's what we're working on here. So in the idea that you want to make the book the best you can make it with the writer you are in this moment, you want to think about as the events of the novel happen, as information about those events circulates through the novel, does all of that information come from sources that really help your readers believe that information? Like, are the characters giving that information credible? Or if they aren't credible, um, are your readers supposed to doubt the information? Then the information should come from sources that your readers are going to doubt. Uh, I talked about this also on the Sibling channel. This is the sci-fi seminar on the Mystery channel. Flow of information in a book really gets intense when you're talking about who's credible, who's not credible, how much doubt do you need to create, um, at what point... It's one of the reasons I wanted to do two different channels because I think the way information moves around in a book has a different resonance in a mystery novel than it does in a science fiction or a fantasy novel. Um, in a mystery novel, the way information moves around tells us about the killer, usually. I mean, most mysteries are murder mysteries. So the, the central mystery event of the story the way information moves around in a science fiction novel is often telling us, of course it's telling us about the through line plot of the novel, but the way information moves around in a science fiction novel may also be telling us things, important things, about the world in which those events are happening. So particularly if you're writing a science fiction or fantasy series, and I write paranormal cozies, which are mysteries with a science fiction setting, um, how much of that world you reveal at a time can influence how your readers experience that world. Um, what your readers need to know about the backstory of that world. Like if you're doing a galaxy spanner um, 
and you need to bring in bits and pieces of a conflict that's been ongoing for a long time and your little story fits into just this, you know, few month period in a century long conflict, um, then how you share that information, when you share that information, who shares that information, those are all important questions to consider. Um, in a mystery novel, you want to be sure you don't give away the mystery too early. In a science fiction novel, probably one of the things you want to avoid is something called info dumping, where you're giving us too much of that information at a point when it's not particularly useful from a source who may not be very likely to have that information. So figuring out how to distribute the information your readers need to love and appreciate and want to move into the world you've created is important alongside any information that is plot pertinent because almost any plot has some element of suspense involved whether or not it's a traditional mystery story. So those are the kinds of questions I want you to think about for the next couple of weeks. Those are the things I want you to go back to the manuscript, back to your timeline, uh, back to any outline, um, back to other notes you may have, and take a look and see. All right, so you've got information that your readers need to really be at home in the world you've created. Is there a way you might better organize that information, the delivery of that information? That's, that's kind of the big background information your readers need. And then there's the foreground information, the little stuff up front, the details um, and the suspense of your plot. Is that organized in a way that you're really happy with? Do you need, do you need additional scenes? Um, or do you need to redistribute dialogue? Um, do you just need to add some bits and pieces? of things uh, as you go along. It's also possible, I mean, this is your first novel. Um, maybe you chunked all that information into the very first chapter. Your readers are gonna be just trying to get themselves oriented in the first chapter. You may need to pull some of that out and spread it throughout the book so that you're not overloading your readers all up front. By contrast, because it's a first novel, there may be all this information up here in your head. There may be all this information, even in your notes, that may not have made it into the novel yet, that might really improve and influence your reader's experience of the novel. So be sensitive to those possibilities right now also, okay? How you want to spread out uh, the world building that your readers will need, uh, that you will get to do, which is, I love world building, um, which is part of the whole fun of the genre. Also, again, how you share the suspenseful information, how you share any secrets, um, anything that's a secret amongst the characters, or anything that's supposed to be a secret from the reader. Okay, so back to your book. Look around for those things, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.